Niki kinyemeza ko umwuka wera turi kumwe ese hari turamwumva How do I know the Holy Spirit is with me? Can we hear him or is he quiet? The Holy Spirit is God. And he is accepted by those who accept the word of God. Spirit. And no one can say Jesus is the Lord except in the Holy Spirit. And this speaking is not about uh, having a phrase. But it's, but it's being convicted in the heart that Lord Jesus is the Lord. So if this has happened to you, you have the Holy Spirit. Verse 7 it says, To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. Everyone who is in Jesus Christ, they have the Holy Spirit. And those who are starting the journey, are starting a journey to give yourself to him. So that the Holy Spirit may take over the whole life. This is when the verse 7 is possible to happen and then there will be manifestation signs that appear and the other thing you'd have to know in things that they say it's not possible the few things that are not possible where the Bible says this is not possible it says it's impossible for those in the world to be given the Holy Spirit and that's what's peculiar on the children of God in John 14, 17 that's where it says He's the spirit of truth. It's impossible for those in the world to Because they don't see him or know him. But you, you know him. Because he lives with you. And he will be in you. you. So if you have Jesus. And you are convicted in your heart. You have the Holy Spirit. So the question is. Do you, does he have you? Yes. yes, you have him. If you him. But did he take over your life? And that's what brings the difference. Amen. 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 Uh, who's, uh, and, and she would also to ask him to ask him Pastor Desire. And then come to Pastor uh, Desire. Pastor Hortense, there is another question that brethren asked. In Jeremiah 17, uh, verse 9, uh, that verse shows us that one's heart is deceitful. But there is no a person may take a decision when they have prayed and feeling that it is the truth in your heart. But after a long period of time, you realize that you deceive yourself. Or maybe and sometimes you may be filled with doubt and you ask yourself whether you were led by the Holy Spirit or not. Now, and here is the question how does the Holy Spirit work? Can the Holy Spirit speak to us the same way a person speaks with another? And this is the second question. Thank you. It's good for, for me to start by saying that you have to understand that you make mistakes and that will make you hold on to Christ. And most of the time we believe in ourselves and we boast in ourselves. And you feel like you know most of the times when you have passed in a situation and you are confident. It's good for a child of God to know that you make mistakes easily. And the level of mistakes as Christian of God, what reduces it? 
aga transforming aka vugurura imitekerereze yacu it's changed by the way you're going to allow the holy spirit to change your mindset icyo kina kenshi tujikunda kuko ni urugendo that is not something we like because it's a journey kandi arukuntu twibeshye ko muka wera gira tiktak and we, and we are mistaken that the holy spirit does kandi ukagurya bigahita bikoreka he does something and then it happens right away ariko kwibeshya kwacu cyane cyane bari muri kristo yesu nitwe turimo kwivuga and be, um, having mistakes us were in christ bizagenda bigabanuka it reduces uko twemerera ijambo ry'Imana as we allow the word of god likavugurura imitekerereze yacu to transform our minds ndifuza koresha cyanditswe tumenyereye kiba mu rwandiko rw'abaroma gice cya 12 kabiri mirongo wa kabiri ariko ndakoresha bibiliya yitwa ijambo ry'Imana kuko ibivuga mu kinyarwanda nyine gitomoye cya buri munsi i'm going to talk about romans 12 verse 2 ikindi bibiliya yari koresha ijambo imitima rimwe na rimwe ritwumve ko ari imitekerereze and sometimes it says heart but it's meaning the mind hatangira havuga ngo ntimugakurikize imibereho yabiki gihe it says do not be conformed to this world iryo ni nk'itegeko tuba duhawe and that's a command that we're given kandi natwe imibereho yabiki gihe tukayikunda kubi and we like to conform to this world kandi bibiliya yatubwiye ngo ntimugakurikize and the word of god do not conform imibereho yabiki gihe to the world the pattern kintu nk'icyo uruherekane rw'uko iby'iki gihe bibaho ntitukarukurikire we shouldn't follow the patterns of the world nimugakurikira imibereho y'abiki gihe do not be conformed to the pattern ahubwo mureke imana ivugurura ibitekerezo byanyu but be transformed by the renewal of your mind uwo abantu twicaye hano twazanye umutima n'ubwenge turimo turareka imana ikavugurura ibitekerezo byanyu as we come here and sit we are allowing god to change our mind rimwe na rimwe ntituramenya ko birimo gukorwaho ariko iyo we exposeje munsi ijambo ry'Imana uburimo kuvugururwa and sometimes you don't know that's happening but when you expose yourself to the word of god you're being renewed iyo bibiri vuze ngo mureke imana nokuva ko ushobora no kuyibuza ushobora kwanga kwivugurura ibitekerezo when the bible says let god that means you can also refuse yutagira huhura ni jambo ry'Imana iyo utari ho umwanya iyo utari tinda ubwo bawanze ereke uko niko kwanga if you don't expose yourself to the word of god and delay in the word of god you're refusing mureke imana ivugurura ibitekerezo byanyu so let god transform you hanyuma tugatugata tubona consequences nziza iva muri ibyo bintu and we see the good consequences ayita havuga ngo mube muhindutse rwose He says you have to be transformed. Bibigarukira ngo nibwo muzashobora kumenya neza iby'Imana ishaka. And that's when you're going to know what God wants. Kugira ngo muhiteme ibyiza so that you choose what's good. Bishimishije kandi bitunganye rwose. What's acceptable and perfect. Twumvise uruhererekane rw'iryo jambo hari kubanza kudakurikira imibereho y'abiki gihe hari ukwemerera Imana ikavugurura imitekerereze yacu noneho uko imitekerereze yacu ivugururwa ngo nibwo tuba duhindutse rwose twarangiza tugashobora kumenya noneho iby'Imana ishaka muri make kwibeshya kukagabanuka so there's a pattern you have to be uh, com- to not be conformed to the world and then be transformed kwamenya iby'Imana ishaka tuka tukabasha noneho no kugira amahitamo y'ibyiza bishimishije kandi bitunganiye rwose and when you know what god wants you now choose what is good acceptable and is perfect ikindi dukwiriye kwibuka nuko imana itagitwima igitekerezo cyayo and you have to know that god does not take away his mindset he ntabwo ibitwima turamutse tumenye uburyo imana ibishaka ko dutunga igitekerezo cya kristo twajya tunyaruka tukumva iki imana ivuga he does not refuse us to have his mindset or know what he wants mu rwandiko rwa mbere rwa bikorinto kabiri 16 first corinthians 2:16 Harafu ngo mbese ninde wigeze kumenya icyo witeka tekereza ngo amwigishe nyamara twebwe vuga ngo twebwe for who has understood the mind of the lord so as to instruct him but we say we nyamara twebwe dufite gutekereza kwa Kristo but we have the mind of Christ ariko muzi gutunga mind ya Kristo buryo ari byigitangaza do you know how to have the mind of Christ imana rero yakwimye kumenya ibyikunda kumenya ibyishaka ntiyabitwimye god has not taken this away from us ahubwo rimwe na rimwe ntago twemera rwa rugendo rwo guhindurirwa imitekerereze but sometimes we do not accept the journey to be changed in our mind ijambo tuzi mu mutwe mu barongo mu nacu na kandi vanga bayoborwa n'umwuka w'Imana bose nibo bana b'Imana the word says that those who are led by the spirit of god are the children of god abayoborwa n'umwuka bose nibo bana b'Imana those who are all that are led by the holy spirit are the children of God abemera gucukumbura cyangwa bagize ubumenyi bwo kumenya ijambo ry'Imana barabizi ko ababana atari ababebe cyongereza cyoreje kivuga sans na bana bakuze and those who know the word of God these are not babies they are actually sons no kuvuga ngo abana bakuze that means they are all the children nibo bemera kuyoborwa n'umwuka w'Imana they are the ones who are allowed to be led by the holy spirit abana banze gukura and those who refuse to banze ku expose ku jambo ry'Imana ngo rihindure uko batekereza the children who refuse to be exposed to the word of God barakomeza bagahura kuri kabiyobora kandi nuko uri kwiyobora kutugonjesha ibikuta byinshi tukazarangizanya ibyicu byo kwicuza byinshi byinshi banguka banguka twemera Imana ivugurura ibitekerezo byacu amen amen rakoze pastor ari kindi kibazo cyagatatu akaburuhutseho gato before you take a break ari kindi kibazo cyabajwe n'abantu benshi it was asked by so many people cyarabazaga ngo it is asking Esu mwuka wera the holy spirit atandukanye n'umutima nama wa muntu what is the difference between the holy spirit and one's conscious 
conscience humaine Human what is the difference between the Holy Spirit and one's thought and even emotions? How can we hear the voice of the Holy Spirit in our life? Just in a couple of minutes. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is God. Conscience ya wicha ngo mutima nama wawe. Your conscious or your. Nichimwe mo biche bi kujize. Or your heart, it's one of the parts that make you. Kandi nacho ni biche chigita anga za tuwa hawi ni man. Chigita ndo kanya ni bi dibi And it's a wonderful part that makes us different from other creatures. Ali kumu kawira ni man. But the Holy Spirit is God. Conscience ya ngo mutima wa nama wawe ni biche chigu mo numba hawi. Your consciousness is part of your humanity. But when we give our life to Christ, Christ the Holy Spirit uses this part. Uh, to differentiate this can be easy. Everything that the Holy Spirit is going to say and offer us, it's going to be for one thing. It's to honor God. <laughs> and that's the purpose. <laughs> and sometimes it puts you down so that your old self can go away. It's so that it may glorify God. And to also differentiate it is also easy. God cannot... So the Holy Spirit won't bring an idea that is contrary to the word of God. Everything you hear when, when people say that God said I should come out of that household, Holy, 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 Holy Spirit is God, he cannot contradict himself. We will know our, his thoughts and ours because everything yes, is glorified. Uh, God said it well in John 16. From 13 to 14. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he will take what is mine and declare it to you. So the good news as I end, that those who have received Jesus, and they started the journey of giving their life to Christ, and allow the word, the word of God to transform their minds, the time comes, and their things and their consciousness become slow, and the mind of Christ will be filling them. May we aim to get to that point. Let us clap to Jesus. Oh, this is good. It's really good to hear this truth. Pastor Viva, Pastor Viva. It's me and you. The first question. In Luke two twelve ten, it says a person who is going to uh, curse the, word, the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And the, per the person who is going to curse him, are they going to be forgiven or not forgiven for real? Uh, thank you, Pastor Didi. Uh, before I answer this question, there are a few things I want to mention concerning the kingdom of God. Everything that is in the Bible, it can be summarized in three categories. The, the, the God, the Lord, the kingdom of God in heaven, the kingdom of God on earth, and even ourselves who are supposed to be part of that kingdom. Now for Jesus to say the one who insults the Holy Spirit won't be forgiven. 
cyo twita royal protocol so those you are speaking to the israelites were used to the royal protocols bari bamenyereye uko ibwami gahunda igenda they were used to the royal protocol iyo hawe gahunda no mwami when you have an appointment with a king cyangwa ukaba umushaka or if you are looking for him you don't just go and meet with the king the same way you will come and meet me in my office. There is a process you are supposed to go through to the point of reaching where the king is. God is king. And he sent Christ on earth so that he can reconcile us with God because we had moved away from the kingdom. And Christ himself said, no one can come to the Father unless they come through me. And that is the protocol of the kingdom. And no one can even not come to Christ unless the Holy Spirit uh, leads them to do so. And that is the royal protocol. Pastor Ortense Mumagambo yatubwiye yatubwiye yuko nta wavuga ko Kristo ari umwami atabibwiwe na Mwuka wera. Among the things that Pastor Ortense told us no one can say that Christ is the Lord unless that person is led by the Holy Spirit. Dore rero mu nshama cyuko protocole y'ibwami iteye ubundi mite njya kuri kino kibazo nibwo muri bucyumbe neza. In summary this is the royal protocol now before I answer this question. Imana data umwami God the Father the King Yesu Kristo Jesus Christ Mwuka wera and the Holy Spirit. For us to know that Jesus is it is the Holy Spirit who brings us to Jesus. And to be able to reach God the Father. It is Christ who leads us to God the Father. The reason why Jesus said the one who blasphemes the Holy Spirit won't be forgiven. It's because the one who blasphemes the Holy Spirit won't know Christ and the one who doesn't know Christ won't know God because no one will tell that person. We've put it in our daily life it is like despising the protocol of a powerful person. And when you had some, we were looking for something from that powerful person. And one of the ushers will tell you, if you don't respect me, you won't reach where the leader is. Would that person be saying the truth? And this is what actually Jesus said. Let us look into it in the word of God. I'm, I'm going to look uh, for it in Mark chapter 3. Uh, starting from verse 29 uh, to 30. It is written, but he who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is subject to eternal condemnation. Because they said, he has an unclean spirit. Who are those who said this? The, the Pharisees. Uh, last time I told you uh, that God knows how to differentiate an ignorant person and a hypocrite. These people he was responding to the Pharisees, they knew that he had the spirit of God, but they ignored that. Blaspheming the Holy Spirit. It is not saying uh, it words towards the Holy Spirit. Uh, in the English version, they say to blaspheme. Actually, what it means is to call a person a wrong name when you actually know the real name of that person. Now, those who won't be forgiven, who blaspheme the Holy Spirit, are people who are not ignorant, who are intentional in what I say. But in the end, they don't accept what the Holy Spirit says and does. They are condemned forever. 
the Holy Spirit who brings us to Christ and Christ brings us to God. Father. So they have already closed the door for themselves. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank God because we understand this. Thank God that we understand The second question is, what's the difference between clenching the Holy Spirit and losing the Holy Spirit? Someone who has the Holy Spirit and then they backslide, does it mean they do not have the Holy Spirit? Can someone lose the Holy Spirit? Let me start with quenching the Holy Spirit. Uh, I'm going to read in Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, starting from verse um, uh, 11 uh, to 19. Murongo wa chumini chenda kujira kwa maku nyaviri na hiyo. Starting from verse 19 to 21, in First Thessalonians, it is written, "Do not quench the spirits." Do not despise prophecies. But test every spirit, hold fast what is good. When this uh, was being told uh, to the Church of Thessalonians. We are going back in the history. They had issues comparable to the one we have of prophecy, including false prophecies and true prophecies. And some leaders of churches took a decision that no one will prophesy anymore. If a person is filled with the Holy Spirit in that corner, they will send a young men who are strong and uh, they will prevent him from speaking. And if another person says read, they will take him and say go and say this outside. Uh, because of the concern of prof false prophecies that they were experiencing by then. But they had not solved the issue. And then the apostle of God wrote to them that they should not quench the spirit of God. Be attentive to everything that is being prophesied. Meaning what is true and what is not true. And then hold fast what is true. Uh, because the evil person will say the evil things in that person, so you retain what is right and put aside what is wrong. Quenching the spirit of God, therefore, it is trying to deal with the wrong persons but also at the detriment of even the right ones. It is uh, keeping prophecy and in the end you even lose out even on the true prophecy. And this is different from losing the Holy Spirit. A person loses the Holy Spirit when that person has lost salvation. And the person loses salvation when that person takes an intentional decision to say that Jesus Christ is no longer his or her Lord and Savior. And God knows how to distinguish to deny Christ and uh, to be in weakness. So this person who had the Holy Spirit and then uh, backslid, it, it depends on to which extent. If he backslid and went into sins he used to commit before, and the Holy Spirit cannot dwell together with sins. The Holy Spirit does not dwell in sins. Some people try to struggle to continue to use the gift, but when the Holy Spirit is no longer there, it's because of what they are used to. I think I can end there.
but I hope you are being blessed. Uh, they are answering so many things in just uh, a few questions. The third, uh, the third question before now we, we give floor to Pastor. Uh, if the Holy Spirit tells you something that you are supposed uh, to forsake. And if you don't forsake that, does that mean that your journey with the Holy Spirit stops? Or you can only continue with the Holy Spirit in other aspects where you are obedient. Uh, this question is difficult to answer. Uh, but we are going to use the Bible and it will be easy. One of the importance of the Holy Spirit is to be like a parent to us or a helper. Uh, let me tell you, when we come into the kingdom of God, we come through salvation, we are not born into the kingdom. So the role of the Holy Spirit is to uh, help us to learn things concerning the kingdom. Because if you are 30 years old, at, when you get saved, you are one year old in the kingdom. And let me come back to the principle I told you that God knows how to distinguish those who are ignorant and those who are hypocrite. If the Holy Spirit tells you to get rid of something and you don't obey him just because of ignorance, he keeps on bearing with you and reminding you until you get to know the truth. And you continue among the things you are able to obey to him. But when you are aware you are pretending you are being a hypocrite, and here is the scripture that is fulfilled on you. It is in Genesis uh, chapter 6. Uh, it's in chapter 6. Chapter 6, verse 3. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. Uh, so I, 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 at that time, God said, I would not continue to struggle with these people. He removed from people from having 900 years to 120, but now can he even reduce further? So in other words, if you keep on refusing to listen to the Holy Spirit, uh, actually the, the Holy Spirit reaches to the point where he even goes away from you. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. That is why we are requested uh, in Ephesians not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Because uh, so the, if it is anger, it would have been trouble, but if it is ignorance, he will continue to bear with you. I want to add this. In the word of God says, uh, tells us in First uh, John uh, chapter 5, uh, we know that everyone who has been born of God does not keep on sinning. But he who was born of God protect him, and the evil one does not touch him. Uh, actually, uh, this scripture substantiates what he was uh, saying. 
buriya gutakaza kuvuga ngo mwuka wera ni Yesu Yesu yaraguhaya gakiza we ntiyi muka ntagenda when Jesus who is also the holy spirit has given you the, the salvation does not move, go away bishoboka bite se ngo umuntu urufite Kristo ntakora ibyaha e pour tout ce que dukora ibyaha and how come someone who has Christ doesn't commit sin yet we know that we commit sin nifuje gushimangira kanu kitwa gukora icyaha nkana but i wanted to put an emphasis on committing a sin in, when you are intentional gukomeza and continue keep on doing kwibera muri ubwo buzima in that life guhitamo kwanga kumvira mwuka wera ubishaka and to decide of not obeying the holy spirit intentionally nashaka kongera huki cyanditswe bitandukanye rero uwijijisha nuta nutazukuri baratandukanye the one uh, who is pretending and the one who doesn't know the truth are quite different thank you amen yesa shimwe pastor desire i praise the lord jesus pastor desire amen Pastor Desire hari bibazo bitatu tugiye kumubaza cyangwa muri bene data mu gihe pastor badutegurira bitatu bindi tuza kuza kubaza pastor Hortense hari kibazo cy'ambere cyabajijwe kigira kiti ese umwuka wera ajya ganiriza abantu badakijijwe does the holy spirit speak to people who are not saved niba tabaganiriza se babasha gukizwa bate atabagendereye and if they are not saved how can they be saved unless they are visited by the holy spirit murakoze cyane i thank you indeed uh, uh, first of all i thank you for the invitation in this session it is the first time to see such a panel in a sunday gathering uh, uh, this is a great revelation. Uh, the Holy Spirit can speak uh, to those who are not saved. It is true. But, but he cannot dwell in them because he cannot live in a filthy place. John 14, 18, verse 18, we see that he will confuse people of the world. And he will lead them uh, to, to repent. Or if there is something else he wanted to use them for. People are excited so they were not uh, saved. And uh, he used them when they were not saved. He's supposed to be using those who obeyed to him. Those who received him. But sometimes you are busy and he has to use them. <laughs> Uh, those who are able to do his will. Thank you. Thank you. May God help us not to destroy the There's another second question that was asked. And so many people asked that question. Do you receive the Holy Spirit immediately when you are baptized after getting out of water? Yes or no? Uh, you don't receive the Holy Spirit because we are, we are immersed into water. Uh, you receive the Holy Spirit when he starts uh, leading you to get saved. And he continues the work to transform you into your habits and to sanctify you. And as you build your relationship with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, you reach a point where you are filled and it overflows and that is what I got to be filled in the Holy Spirit. I have seen people who were saved and shortly after the Holy Spirit and some that can be filled with the Holy Spirit in the water and there are even others who were baptized in the Holy Spirit after so many years. He fills you for a reason. I have seen people who got saved when they are coming from families that were being persecuted for and when you get saved to God, we will know that you are going to be persecuted for things you won't be able to do that. And the Holy Spirit will fill you to be power so that you can bear with that. Thank you. Amen. Pastor Desiree is moving faster, so I'm going to add questions. There is another third question. That there are many people ask themselves about. A person who has not yet spoken A person who has not yet spoken into tongues, who is still speaking the local language. But while that person is a Christian, and who follows the word of God, and who speaks, who feels that they speak with the Holy Spirit, 
is that person deceiving himself or herself? Is kuvuga mu ndimi ubwo none ni cyakabiri cyunganira icyo ngicyo ni gute umukristo yabohoka mu gihe ikimenyetso cyo kuvuga mu ndimi kitaramuzaho akumva ko afite umwuka wera How can a Christian be set free if that, that gift of speaking in tongues has not yet come on um, them to know that that person has the Holy Spirit Kuvuga mu ndimi ni impano imwe muri nyinshi Speaking in tongues is one of the many gifts Abakorinto ba mbere 12 murongo wa 4 kugeza ku murongo wa 7 uh, in first Corinthians chapter 12 starting from verse 14 hari impano z'uburyo bwinshi ariko umwuka numwe kandi hari uburyo bwinshi bwo kugabura iby'Imana ariko umwami numwe hariyo no buryo bwinshi bwo gukora ariko Imana ikorera byose muri bose nimwe umuntu wese agahabwa ikimwerekana aho umwuka kugira ngo bose bafashwe now there are varieties of gifts by the same spirit and there are varieties of services yeah, by the abano. same Lord. I lived with people who, who, speak, who never spoke in tongues. But that person will be sitting here and will discern the entire church. I lived with people who have a gift to, of even healing sicknesses. God gives gifts according to his will. Uh, Besareli yuzu yumuka chonga mawi. Besareli was filled with the Holy Spirit Na and was even sharpened in stones. Na kwa kumu engineer mngiza So a person can be a good engineer by the Holy Shura Spirit. Mngiza, usizwe. You can be a doctor uh, who is anointed. Uzi kutandu kanya ugwa ya wadaimoni, amaranga muti mako mereseni ingu wala zisamzwe. Uh, who knows how to distinguish uh, those who have uh, demons and usual sicknesses and that will be the Holy Na Spirit. Na kutukese tuzavu kamu ndimi. So all of us won't speak in tongues. Ndimi ni ima ni mge muri nyishi. So speaking in tongues is one of the many gifts. Pastor Arakanwenda na konjera uga to kurichi. There's something I can add on this question. If you are comforting the one who is speaking the local language. But if that person is desiring, if that person is desiring not to speak the local language, is that bad? We are children in our uh, father's home. We are allowed to have but we cannot instruct the He gives to each one as he as wills. He knows what we can handle. I know a person who had a thirst to speak in tongues. Though that person had other gifts, but wanted to speak in tongues. Because where we were worshipping, speaking in tongues was like a competition. Uh, now because that person was doing it because of arrogance. He spoke in tongues but he didn't, he didn't want him to be sanctified. And now Christo. and it was mixed with other things now he's uh, no longer a Christian. So we need to be flexible before uh, God and, and allow his will in our lives and he can give us gifts as he wills. And uh, he gives he gives what you are able to handle. I want to wind up with this. Amen. Amen. May you clap? Yes. We have to thank Jesus. In Rwanda, that's how we thank. I want to remind you that Desiree is a strong Christian. He doesn't know anything else. It's not like he was in different places. But he is an original one. An original one. Yes, Ashimne. Praise Jesus. What I'm thanking God for. You accept it or do not accept it. Even me as your pastor, this is what I believe in. This is a question that brings people to even to fight. People walk together, but then they do not accept each other. When I accepted this truth, I actually spoke in tongues, but there's another truth that came. Let me tell you this as your pastor. Sometimes when we are preaching they say everyone who can speak in tongues start speaking. That's a, there's a problem there. It's good to speak in tongues. Do you know that you can speak in tongues in different ways, different ways? What I'm trying to tell you 
Impano y'Imana si button ukanda ngo ikintu kize. The gift of God is not a button that you press and then it happens. Nabazivuga si buri gihe bahora bazivuga. And those who speak in tongues it's not all the time they're speaking in tongues. Ibyo rero nibyo bintu bibiri nge byanyeretse mana nk'umushumba makwitonda. That, those are two things that showed me as a pastor that I have to be careful. I do believe in speaking in tongues. And I also believe in being filled with the Holy Spirit. You can also be distracted with it as well. And you can use them to, to, to do what you want because you speak in tongues. All that is being mistaken. But beloved, a gift that you have should not make others fall. Whatever gift you have, have it and use it in love. Let it not be a reason to compare no and to judge. All of us will go before the Lord. But the one who speaks in tongues, the one who's been given, use it as you've been given. Use it as you've been given. And do not stop it. But do not judge. Amen. We are continuing with Pastor Hortense. We were on question four. It looks like it has been answered. It looks like it has been answered. Let us talk about the first question. Let us talk about the first how does the Holy Spirit lead someone in regards to the dress code? Pastor Hortense, I, I asked for permission to Pastor Hortense. I asked Pastor Hortense to talk about dressing. When you talk about dressing, we're talking about the appearance that we see outside. Uh, he, she was asked on YouTube before she used to straighten her hair. What permission before asking this question. I believe she'll be the right person to answer. Praise God. I've given myself permission to go back to question number four. It was saying, I have the Holy Spirit, but why do I ask him sometimes to help me and he doesn't? He he helps you, but sometimes you don't know that he's helped you because he took it in another direction so that you're not expecting. You can ask God. You can ask God for two million or to get a visa to go to Canada. You know that he intercedes us. And then there's an intercession saying, God, do not give visa to, to Hortense because we need him in the coming year. I, don't remove this problem because this is a time for her to be trained as a warrior in the spirit. So I don't want you to go when you're saying the Holy Spirit does not help us. He helps us indeed. And he gives us what is good for us. And the question is, how does the Holy Spirit lead someone in their dressing or their appearance? And how does he lead someone in their dressing? And how does, he, how does uh, the Holy Spirit lead you in all the areas of your life? The Holy Spirit lives in us. God lives in us. But most of the time we seek for his voice outside. And that's uh, a mistake. And we lose what he tells us from inside because he's inside of us. And I'm going to talk about that journey of Romans 12 too. As your mind is being transformed and changed, he shows you what is not in alignment with the will of God, which is not in alignment with the assignment that God has for you. He, he shows it to you slowly by slowly. And he can give you something something that is unique for you according to the will he has for you. 
Ikindi nuko iyo dukurira muri Kristo And when we grow in the Lord in Christ Agenda nanone mu bucuti bwinshi tugirana nawe He goes in the relationship that we have with him or fellowship Mugenda muganira akwereka ibyo wemere ibyo wemere ariko bitagufite uyu mumaro He it shows you what you what's permissible for you but what's not uh, Mukawera ari ari do ni mwiza cyane The Holy Spirit is really gentle. And to hear him or to obey him is very sweet. Muri ubwo bucuti rero mugenda mugirana So in that friendship that you have with him Ukiye bucyagenda kwemera ati uruta ibi bigufite mu maro ariko se nako ibi ngibura byemerwa ariko se bigufite mu maro So slowly and slowly says oh thanks you are this is is acceptable for you but not useful Ukiye bucye bigendanye n'imigamba gufitiye so it depends on the will of God and the will of God on our lives is useful to other people. So 1 Corinthians 6.12 He says I'm, everything is permissible but not all is useful. Everything is permissible but I'm not going to be ruled by something. When we go to chapter 9 in 1 Corinthians from 19 Hagenda havuga ngo ngo ndusheho kunguka ndushe cyangwa reka nsome nihuse ngo nubwo kuri bose ndu umudendezo nihinduye imbata ya bose kugira ngo ndusheho kunguka benshi kuba yuda nabaye nk'umuyuda kugira ngo nunguke abayuda no kuba twarwa n'amategeko nabaye nk'utwarwa n'amategeko nubwo kuganye natwarwa nayo kugira ngo nunguke abatwarwa n'amategeko kuba dafite amategeko nabaye nk'u dafite amategeko kugira ngo nunguke abadafite amategeko ariko kumana sindu dafite amategeko ahubwo ntwarwa n'amategeko ya Kristo kuba dakomeye nabaye nk'u dakomeye kugira ngo nunguke abadakomeye kuri bose nabaye byose kugira ngo mu buryo bwose nkize bamwe bemwe nkize bamwe bamwe ngo kandi ibyo byose mbikora kubwo ubutumwa ngo fatanye nabandi muri bwo Amen. 1 Corinthians 9 from verse 19 to 23. For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though not being myself under the law, that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, not being outside of the law of God, but under the law of Christ, that I might win those outside the law. Verse 22, to the weak I became weak, that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that by all means I may save some. Amen. So this is to win a lot of people, the Jews, so that this can be from the good news. So when someone starts having fellowship with God, they, we get to understand that you do not live by your own self. So this is not just for pastors, but it's everyone who is in Christ. He has given us to live and not die after receiving him so that we may receive more or gain more people to his kingdom. And the Holy Spirit is going to lead you to the level that you are allowing to be led. So for me, about my story, it's like that as well. It's so that I may, I may, I may receive or gain those who do not believe in makeup. And because of the Holy Spirit, I gain them. Because the Holy Spirit, I gain them. Amen. And, and I did gain a lot of people because some people believe that when you have makeup, you're not saved. Or, and when they were looking at YouTube and they see someone with lipstick, they would close it while there's a word for them to save them. <laughs> I did not remove everything, I put a little. But in the friendship with the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a good forever. And the Holy Spirit asked me, do you know when you stop this, it's going to be forever? And then I talked to him and said, if someone is going to be saved, I am allowing this. So keep this word because there's something that the Holy Spirit can do. You have to always remember that you are you're someone that God can use to gain Amen. other people. Amen. 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 Praise God.
Ihame turaryumvise. We have understood the principle. Uri terura urya kurika mu buzima bwawe n'ubwangi. Take it and put it into your life. Natwe ikagira ibyitwibwirira. And he will talk to us in certain ways. Yes, Hashim. Ngiye kwegeranya ibibazo nka bibiri kuko umwigisha buri umenyere kwigisha. Abafite uburyo yajya kubyegeranya kugira ngo dusigaranye ibinota mike cyane. I'm going to put some questions together and I believe they will know how to answer. Mhm. Mm Ese ibyo umuntu anyuramo byose Mm, birimo bisanzwe nko kujya ku kazi buri gitondo umwuka wera bivugaho ese yakubuza kujya ku kazi niba hari ibyo ashaka kukurinda reka reka ndangize gato uze kubyegeranya nawe n'icya karindwi acyumve ngo umwuka wera ayobora te muri buri cyemezo urumva haje nanone uburyo ayobora muri buri cyemezo cyane cyane icyo ugiye gukora kinyuranije n'ijambo ry'Imana ya kivuze ho ngurugero kuba watekereza gushinga kitanyuranije eh, aha kitanyuranije ni jambo ry'Imana urugero kuba watekereza agashinga gato wafatanya na kazi ugamije kongera amafaranga winjiza cyangwa kwiyungura ubumenyi ku kintu runaka ubona kizakugirira kamara wahabwirwa niki niba umwuka wera akuyoboye cyangwa uyoboye so the, the other question says, does the Holy Spirit lead you in each and everything that you go through on a daily basis? For example, if you have to go to work, or f can the Holy Spirit want you that you shouldn't go uh, to work on a particular day because there's something wrong that may happen? Um, does, how does the Holy Spirit lead you to take a decision, especially if it does not contradict with the word of God? For example, if there's a project you want to implement and to gain uh, more money, when it does not contradict with the Holy Spirit, how does the Holy Spirit lead you in all that? Reka mvuge ko hari giye twibeshye ko kuba umunyamwuka ari ukubyuka mu gitondo kuvizwe ry'Imana rivugira amatwi yawe karaba jya ku kazi wijya yo gira gute ariko ibyo bintu ntabwo ari byo We may deceive ourselves to be spiritual is to hear the voice of God that tells you in everything uh, like every morning but that's not right Uko nigeze kuvuga ntabwo Imana ijya yivuguruza Imana yatumye turiye bimwa bifite ubwenge Ishobora kwivuguruza ngo ikuvuze gukoresha ubwenge God does not contradict himself and does not prevent you from using your own mind and intelligence Tekereza umwana w'imya 18 gomba kumbwira ngo yewe byutse rero ngo barabrosa bamara kubrosa ngo bagasasa bamara gusasa ngo uje wisiga amafuta neza ngo Imagine if you tell your child who is 18 years old that you have to wake up, brush your teeth, and make your bed, and, and mention each everything. That would be a, a, an issue. The responsibility we have yeah. is to allow God to fill in our thoughts. Hanyuma tukakoresha ubwenge bwavuguruwe n'Imana. Imana ntiyanga itera mbere ryawe wakora ku manga na ninjoro na ryari. Iki bigusaba no kwagira ubuzima buri balance kugira ngo ishutazari bibyo mubiri ukibagirwa ibyo umwuka hanyuma gatagangara. And and then use your renewed mind and the balanced life so that you can Ikindi nakonyera no kwa kenshi tubaze ikibazo nk'iki. Twa twifuza garantie y'Imana ngo Imana bimenye neza ko muri ubucuruzi kumwe nange ubwo nti buzahomba ubwo corona ntizaza ibyo bintu kwisi nibihaba. Nta kintu kitazanyeganyega. When we ask that question we want a, an assurance that God is with us but I want to tell you that this is nothing but may your ear be always attentive to what God is saying. And know if it's <laughs> and right I and and even when it comes to marriage, because even uh, the relationship with Adam and Eve was shaken, so what is it? We are also going to ask um, questions to other panelists. We are going to ask Pastor Viva. Uh, Pastor Lili Arabi for Jaribas or Tribu Hose, Arikichi, Chagatano, the Chief of Gachon, Yenako, Gisangi Kubiemo, Zinshi, then Ibibi in Dinsekusa Kujaja Kubi Hosa, Chiravugango, Kubatis Gomuk, Vitandu Kane no Kuzru Moka. What is the difference to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Nichiwazo chivazwa chan. Esu mono we se wize ko wize. And everyone who has believed. Abaya ha umuka wera. We have ifuze ko yaba tishgwe mumuka. Does that mean that that person has already been baptized in the Spirit? Akaba kubie mo nichi nengo nigute na yaba tishgwe mumuka wera. Another question is, how can I be baptized in the Holy Spirit? Haribio wajiuko zahari kwa wenda urazakuwe huzi yesu yevuze kwa Yohana ba tiri shamaazi harikowe azaba tiri sha umoka numuriro ba tizgua mumuriro bisuba nuriki Jesus said that John are baptized with water but him he was going to baptize with a spirit and fire what does it mean to be baptized in fire or baptism of fire you can ask her those questions murakoze chani ni bivazo bichingenzi these are important questions. Bimwe biradusaba ko 
turi bugerageze kuvuga aya magambo mu byukuri atari umwimerere w'ikinyarwanda some would require us to say words that are not original in Kinyarwanda ubundi kubatizwa mu kinyarwanda iryo jambo that word to be baptized in Kinyarwanda aho rikomoka where it comes from bivuga gufata ikintu it means to take something ukagishyira mu kindi you put it into something else and then it, it is uh, overwhelmed by what we have put it into. Baptizo ni cyo bivuga mu kigereki. And that's what baptizo means in Greek. Ntihabatizwe umuntu gusa rero. Therefore it's not a person who is only baptized. Ufashe na biscuit yawe mu gitondo ukayishyira mu cyayi ikarengeramo ubuyibatije. If you take your biscuit you dip it into your tea that biscuit is baptized. In fact iri jambo mu bagereki ryakoreshwaga mu gisirikare iyo umusirikare yabaga yagiye ku rugamba kica abantu benshi inkota yikaza yatukuye baravuga ngo inkota ye yabatisha Actually this word was also used by the Greeks if they would have gone for war and when their sword was full of blood they would say that that sword is baptized Nitu byumva rero muri ubwo buryo turamenya ngo umuntu abatizwa rya So if you understand that in that concept you would understand when does a person is baptized. Kamve mu bagiriki noneho nje muri Bibiliya. And then maybe put aside the Greeks aside and go into uh, the Bible. Abakorinto ba mbere igice cya 12 mu rongo wa 12 no wa 13 hari igisubizo. There is an answer in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 starting from verse 12 to 13. The... Abakorinto ba mbere 1 Corinthians igice chapter cya 12 umurongo wa 12 no wa 13 haranditse ngo it is written nkuko umubiri ari umwe ukagira ingingo nyinshi as the body is one and has many members nkuko ingingo z'umubiri kandi nkuko ingingo z'umubiri zose nubwo ari nyinshi ari umubiri umwe niko na Kristo ari but all the members of the body being many are one body so also is Christ kuko mu mwuka umwe twese arimo twabatirijwe kuba umubiri umwe for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body naho twaba abayuda cyangwa abagiriki whether Jews or Greeks naho twaba imbata cyangwa bo mudendeje and whether slaves or free kandi twese twujujwe umwuka umwe and have all been made to drink into one spirit kubatizwa mu mwuka rero niki what does it mean to be baptized in the spirit bitandukanye na bya bindi tubona umuntu yagize imbaraga tukavuga ngo arabatijwe it is different from when a person is baptized individually umwe ashobora kubatizwa bikamubaho undi nti bimubeho one may be baptized it would happen to that person and it won't happen to another iyo twinjiye muri kristo tuvuze ngo twemeye ko kristo ari umwami numukiza when we enter into christ and accept him as our lord and savior mu yandi magambo tuba dutangiye urugendo rwo kuvuga ngo twinjiye muri Kristo twe twe kugaragara hagaragara ewe in other words we are saying we have started the journey of entering into Christ so that he is the one who is visible but not us nubwo kenshi atari ko bitugendekera ariko ubundi cyo bibiliya yita umubatizo nicyo nugutebera muri Kristo nta wowe ntugaragare wakaba ari ugaragara actually that's what it means is to go deep into Christ so that he is the one who is visible when you you are no longer visible ibindi twitirira umubatizo ni ibimenyetso bya mwuka wera cyangwa by'imbaraga cyangwa by'amaranga mutima cyangwa by'umuntu yumvishe bavuga ngo yewe bagushyize mu mazi ngo ntutitire ngo mubatizo ntuba bagenze neza otherwise other things that we see are the, the, the manifestations of the spirit uh, like when and, and people won't understand it correctly nta ka video bamwe muri mwe mwabonye ku muntu mu pastor wabatije mu Kristo bikarangira na wamubatije have you ever seen a video where a pastor wanted to be baptized ntabwo mwakabonye wabonye the pastor who was actually ah, baptized what does he say Biriya biterwa nuko umuntu aba yarababwiwe ngo nujyamo ngo ntiwiyoroshye ngo kandi nuzamuka ngo ntugire gutya ngo baravuga ko ufite ibyaha byinshi and kubatizwa mu mwuka ni gihe nge na kamere yange tutakigaragara hakagaragara kamere ya Kristo to be baptized in Christ is when i and my nature is no longer visible but it's only the nature of Christ that is visible bigenda na rero no kuzura mwuka wera urumba hari ukwinjira mu kintu ariko hari no kwemera yuko cyo kikwinjira so there's one thing to enter into something and also allowing the same thing to enter into you hari wavuze ngo yesa aradufite turamufite ariko sewe aradufite there's someone who said even though we belong to Christ but do we also belong to him nabisubirisha ijambo Kristo yavuze ngo nimo ba muri nge namagambo yanjye akaba mbikoresheje mu kigira iki navuga ngo nimubatizwa hanyuma kandi mukanyemerera n'imbere urabona ufashe ufashe ikiganza ukagishyira mu mazi if you you take your hand and dip it into water kirato ah it will be wet ariko mimbere muri cyo hagiye mamazi but is it wet inside kugira ngo amazi agere mu kiganza ntanyura mu nzara anyura mu kanwa 
for water to get inside your body, it has to go through your mouth, not uh, through uh, for us to be baptized in Christ, we need to open our brains so that he can feel in us and work in us. Uh, There's also another um, question related to this. Everyone who is convinced that they have received the Holy Spirit, does it mean that they are already baptized in the Spirit? The answer is no. Because everyone who has accepted does not necessarily accept the, the, to be immersed in Christ. So that Christ so if you are there to that principle of Christ in us, that's what will enable us to be children of God and to be baptized in him. So now when it comes um, to baptism of fire, Water, water is like a symbol or a sign because when you are baptized in water, every part of your body is wet. It's like saying whoever will be looking at me from head to toe will be seeing Christ. Uh, so when it comes to baptism in fire, the Bible tells us that God is consuming fire. It is, God is consuming fire. Because uh, it's reaching to a point where you can resolve an issue the same way God would have resolved if it was God himself doing it. Uh, the Holy Spirit in itself is not power, but the Holy Spirit is powerful. Uh, so, so power is also fire is one of the powers of the Holy Spirit. Uh, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's a lifetime process. Because if you read in Isaiah chapter 11, it shows us Christ is our example. Uh, it tells us the spirit of wisdom. On verse 2, it says the spirit of the Lord will be upon him. The spirit of wisdom. Of even understanding. The spirit of counsel. And mighty and also understanding and obeying the Lord. We, we keep on being filled because when we are filled, all these things don't come at, at the same time. Because you may be working in power when you reach somewhere, even the demons will come out, but you haven't reached a level of obeying God appropriately. If you take two glasses that are not of the same size, and you feed both of them with water, aren't they all filled? But each is filled to the extent of what it is able to contain. So as we expand, he also puts more in us. So when I sit here or not, we keep on being filled because we cannot reach the point where we have everything. But we are baptized once and for all, Amen. but we keep on being filled. May God bless you. Yeah, I hope it has addressed yeah. many other questions. I'm going to put together two questions. Pastor Vivu Gotorabatu Dusso Jekuriwe. And before we wind up with 
In the Old Testament, the Spirit of God is in us. But in the New Testament, now the Holy Spirit dwells in us. Ese nibyo ko abamwakiriye basenga bahamagara ngo umwuka wera abamanukire abamanukire kandi yongera abamanukire uh, for those who have already received him to pray and say may the holy spirit come down on them again wenda gasubize vuba nami mtemwe kandi gisubiza mu nterure bizire ntagiye gusoma nibyanditswe answer this in a couple of sentences no kutamenya icyo basaba is failed they are not to know what they ask for because you don't ask for what you have umwuka wera niba umufite ushobora and you may be having the Holy Spirit, but because you have gifts that are different from another person, you think you don't have the Holy The one who has already uh, received the Holy Spirit does not ask again to receive the Holy Spirit, but ask for the infilling. Seven splits of the Lord. Uri ya muzuro wose uri muri Kristo umbonekemo ngomba guhora mfite inyota ariko sinongera gusaba mwuka wera ahubwo nsaba yuko nuzura kugira ngo ngere ku kigero gishitse cy'igihagararo cya Kristo kuko nta wundi muntu nigereranya nawe nta wundi muntu kwiye kwigereranya nawe I have to be filled to reach to the level of Christ because I'm not comparing myself with someone else another quick question Kristo yavuze ngo hari abahanuye mu izina rye ariko atabazi nkuko tubibona muri Matayo 7:21 Ese birashoboka ko mwuka wera yakoresha abantu mu guhanura n'ibindi bikoro mu izina rya Yesu kandi badakijijwe. Uh, Jesus said that there are people he said he never knew them though they, they pretended to prophesy is in Na dusubiza kuri icyo n'ubundi mm -hmm. ibanziriza hano. So the answer in verses mm -hmm. 40 n'ubundi cya Matayo 7 ma in the same uh, chapter of Matthew 21 reka dusome duhereye ku rongo wa 15 be aware of false prophets who come to you in sheep crossing, but inwardly are venous wolves, you will recognize them by their fruits. And the grapes gathered from thorn bushes of fig from thistles. Nuko igiti kiza cyose cyera imbuto nziza ariko igiti kibikera imbuto mbi. So every healthy tree bears good fruits but every diseased tree bears bad fruits. Igiti kiza ntikibasha kwera imbuto mbi kandi n'igiti kibi ntikibasha kwera imbuto nziza. And a healthy tree cannot bear bad fruits nor can a diseased tree bear good fruits. Aha niho hari igisubizo. Mu byukuri aba bantu nubwo bitwa bahanuzi ariko bari abahanuzi bibinyoma. I showed even though these people were called prophets they were actually false prophets. Ariko bya binyoma byabo bakabikoresha mu izina rya Yesu. But they were using their lies in the name of Jesus. Niyo mpamvu yababwiye ngo kumbira ngo mwami mwami si byo bibagira abakozi banje. Ikibagira abakozi banje ni ukwera imbuto zanje kuko uteye muri nge yera imbuto nkizo nera. That is why he said saying Lord Lord does not make me belong to me you need to, to be part of me so that you can bear my fruits. Reka rero mbagira inama nange nyigira gukomera ku muhanuzi suko yahanuye ngo bisohore nuko yitwara nyuma yo guhanura. Uh, so what is important for a prophet is not for, for what he said to be fulfilled but is how he behaves after prophesying. Yes ashimwe. Praise Jesus. Minota yagiye turo turasaranganya bose. Uh, time is not on our side. We are yeah. trying to share questions Hari with the panel. Hari kwiriste hari bintu bigaragara ko byagiye bisubizwa. Nundi, nundi. Uh, there are questions that were asked, that, that were responded to, rather. Uh, How to have the, the fellowship and sustain it with the Holy Spirit, that has already uh, been spoken about. I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Desiree the following question. Like in 15 years ago, Harugot kwa jaga tuwa na mngitera niro mwanya ugusenga imbaraga zungu kawira zima nuka. Hawa fita wa daimo ni waka wa sokamo, hawa arozgo wa gachira. Ndete haka wa nimi nimi nyeto wikomehi. Birimo kukuru kubrozi, kufuga kwa wa daimo ni. Eseko, itachigara gara chane mngitera niro, jaja nze guti. We will see a great manifestation of the Holy Spirit in different signs, but it does no longer happen often. What happened? Thank you. I think that you have been told um, the intelligence and the 
and then we brought some complex theology and we don't allow the Holy Spirit sometimes but to work but it doesn't mean if it doesn't work with us it's not happening somewhere else I have also been asking myself this question for so long and uh, one day I was privileged to meet with a servant of God somewhere and he said they are going to destroy the works of the Holy Spirit the, the, the devil in that place and we started seeing people who had demons falling down and what uh, amazed me he had power that it went beyond 4 kilometers beyond the stadium and everybody who was possessed with demons fell down because it was time to destroy the works of the devil and then he prayed for those who were sick and he said those who are not healed immediately they will be saved in the following days he was an old man who was like in his 70s I thought that maybe he's been because he started uh, wants to take rest. And we slept in close proximity to that city. And I was hearing people uh, during the night crying out to that city. Just because there was a prophet on that mountain. So there are two types of lives. There is someone at the hospital who is groaning and speaking to someone else. There is also a maternity where people out of joy. So if children, uh, babies are not being born, this is the definition. <laughs> Praise be to God indeed. And then you are saying that uh, the Apparently, most of the questions were answered too. And I think it is very easy to help people to win the battle when it comes to war. And how also the Holy Spirit can help us to to fight in our struggles. It was alluded to. Gusa harichingi. Esubundi watandu kanya ute abahanura ba koreshejwe na barangi. Changwa indi mnyuka na abahanura ba koreshejwe na mnyuka wera. Kamvuge na kanyo. Ese mnyuka Ese ko wumva ese wumva ko mwuka wera kwi akubwiye ngo ushyingiranwe n'umuntu w'umukatolike ubwo byaba ari umwuka wera cyangwa yaba yavangi uh, how can you distinguish those, uh, who prophesy using um, uh, falsely and or not? And if a person is to get the money to the country, so what I want to do, we all need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Because you cannot explain things of the Spirit, you cannot fill it with the Spirit. Amen. Amen. There are signs that show that the Holy Spirit is somewhere. There is peace, there is love, and there is also repentance, there is humbleness, and even the unity of brethren. Uh, when they say that the manifestation of the Holy Spirit is to be able to do it, people are stubborn, they don't change the habits, they don't have the unity of the Holy Spirit, so you should know that there are false prophets among them. <laughs> Give a hand clap to Christ. Now, with regard to getting married to a Catholic, uh, first of all, every church has a bride. And Jesus said, You know them by their fruits. Uh, so, when it comes to marriage, there are three categories the spirit, oh, and the body. I cannot be able to go into detail on each category. But she has the Holy Spirit. Now I can lead you with someone else in another church who also has the Holy Spirit. And then we can see that the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. What remains is to know whether God has confirmed that marriage because it is God who builds. Now because we are remaining with a couple of questions on each. I have this suggestion for the second time. We can give a couple of minutes to each panelist. So that... 
nawe nk'impamba yadusigira for each one of us to share with us a package of this of what has already been viva hanyuma pastor desire hanyuma nyuma twakira sinya pastor so we start with pastor hortans yes ashimye cyane i praise jesus indeed natekereza ko byaba ari kibazo iminsi mumaze muvuga ku mwaka wera Given the number of days we've been talking about the Holy Spirit, if you continue to live the same life, and the reason why I talk about him is to have more thirst. For and you can, you'd be lying to us to say you want to be led by the Holy Spirit when you don't want to be the Holy Spirit. And the level of your thirst will show the level also in which you go deep into the Word of God. Rakoze cyane. Thank you indeed. Ndashaka kuvuga ibintu bibiri. I want to say a couple of things. Icya mbere buri muntu asa naho atinda agasa nabo batindana. where you stay more you resemble to that place. Tuganiriye ibintu byinshi hano yaba ari mwebwe mwungutse natwe twungutse. We have said a lot uh, we were blessed both all of us. Ariko turamutse dusohotse iyi soko uh waruteze amatwi ukagenda ugatega amatwi ibindi bintu bidafita bihuriye nabyo ntago uzamenya aho bigiye but if you get out now you start listening to other different things you want to know what you have received the word has gone no ushaka kugera ku kigero gishitse kigihagararo cy'Kristo mu mwuka tindana nawe tindana nabantu bavuga ibyo if you want to reach to the level of Christ so spend much more time with him and even people saying things after him nagira ngo mbabwire icambere ko umwuka w'Imana yawutangiye ubuntu first of all the holy spirit was given for free tugira inyota yo kuzura umwuka we should have the thirst to be filled with the holy spirit hanyuma ikindi ushatsa abantu mu rusengero abantu bose barahari bingeri zose in the church there are many the many people of different categories ariko kubona umuntu yera imbuto wagenda bukira uh, but to get someone who bears fruits of the spirit is really hard. And they will get to know us based on the fruits that we bear. Let's try our best to bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit so that God is glorified outside. Thank you. Let us thank the Lord Christ. Uh, let's clap our hands with a shout of joy. Amen, amen, amen. God good to us and we have eaten really and the good thing is that well there were issues now it is clear there are many things that are now clear Topics in his go now on in the Baba Ye Quiga when the Bushas. The servant of God told me in the office that when they get this opportunity, it is also an opportunity for all of us to Quiga Bihora. And so we keep on learning. Ukuri do Sohemo Abarico to Gendera. And we should follow the truth we have that we have. It's a one visi. So what you have heard. And the truth you have heard don't leave it here I, I believe that you have uh, accepted it into your life everyone whose sins and iniquities are forgiven has the Holy Spirit and fellowship with him depends on you but you should have thirst as it has just been uh, said. And you realize it is in your own interest. And the outcome will be in your benefit. And uh, what is in your interest does not concern you alone. If you follow the leading in the Holy Spirit, it will help you to have a good family more than any other strategies you have and it would be even easier for you to lead your children rather than spending many years studying it. Uru muserivateri uza sanga uru shako rutabi chinu chigu hahamura kukuzi vukaneza kuimana ya viteguji. If you are single you won't be anxious about marriage because you will know that God has prepared everything. Uza avu mukozi mngiza mukazi. And you will be a good employee where you work. Uza avu antropronori mngizu munushori mishingu tangiribinu ukaiworugwa na muku uza avu mngiza chani. And you even be a very good business person. May God be praised in the name of God. May God bless you for accepting to be with us.